Tonight, a growing number of calls for his resignation and questions about his political future. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on those new developments tonight. Dick? Yeah, Christina Maurice, Attorney General Tish James has already begun looking for someone to investigate the first two cases, and now the pressure builds even more on Governor Cuomo tonight. Another allegation, this time from someone who did not work for the governor. In fact, the woman had never even met him before. She said it happened at a 2019 wedding reception. The New York Times reports 33-year-old Anna Ruck says first, Governor Cuomo touched her bare lower back and she moved his hand away. She then says he placed his hands on her face and asked to kiss her. Ruck says she pulled away, but apparently not before Cuomo kissed her on the cheek. The new incident has prompted Long Island Congresswoman Kathleen Rice to tweet a call for the governor's resignation. And tonight, two other alleged sexual harassment victims are tweeting their support of Ruck. One of them, former staffer Charlotte Bennett, said in a statement earlier that the the governor has refused to acknowledge or take responsibility for his predatory behavior. Bennett claims Cuomo made her feel as if he wanted to sleep with her based on what she called his inappropriate questions. State Senator Alessandro Biaggi worked in the governor's office in 2017. When a governor of a state asks a young staffer who is 25 years old um, if she has sex with older men or if she has sex outside of her relationship, that is not only inappropriate, it is abusive. Cuomo had issued a statement yesterday saying, I now understand that my interactions may have been insensitive or too personal. Some of the things I have said may have been misinterpreted as an unwanted flirtation. To the extent anyone felt that way, I am truly sorry. The governor issued a total non-apology earlier and, and in effect treated sexual harassment as some kind of laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter. Another former staffer, Lindsey Boylan, claims that, among other things, Cuomo kissed her on the lips without her consent. He denies Boylan's allegations. Meantime, Attorney General Tish James received a formal letter of referral from the governor to appoint an independent investigator to probe the sexual harassment allegations. If these investigations bear out, it really starts to, I think, call into question um, the leadership that we currently have. No reaction tonight from the governor on these latest allegations. Meantime, he's lawyering up. Elkin Abramowitz will represent Mr. Cuomo in another investigation, the federal probe of whether the governor's office lied about COVID-related deaths in nursing homes. Christina Maurice.